What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, I know I said I was going to be doing weekly. I've already messed up and gone a bit over. But we brush over it because now I'm going to be doing kind of a new format. I'm not going to be doing just singular match reviews. If, it, if, it, if there's nothing that's gone on the week, in the week, Southampton related, I'll just do a quick match review. Three minutes on, get it done. But if there's more stuff like there's been going on this week, um, then I'll do a Southampton news, which I'm going to be doing now. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. First, Sheffield Wednesday match. Very, very good. Yet another match where we looked hella confident. We didn't really give them any sort of chance whatsoever. And um, I'm very proud of them. Uh, they We do not look like losing at the moment. Um, and Ipswich currently have Leicester next week or this week. So if we can get a result against whoever we've got next, we could go second this week. And I am very, very... I think we can do it. I don't think we've got anyone... Like, it might be... No, it's not Norwich, but... I don't, whoever it is, I don't think it's like anyone really like threatening. So I hope we can actually move into second. Um, but yeah, Sheffield Wednesday match, we look complete dominance. Again, where we looked just like keeping the ball in our own in the first half, um, getting the goal, and then second half, just making sure we get that win, get it, get it fine as well. And we've done that perfectly. Um, and it's kind of been the story of the season. We've at home, but basically we've we've started up a bit like timid, and then second half. We've always just gone full on, get the goals, and it's been working. It has definitely been working. I mean, if you've gone 20 games unbeaten, then obviously the plan's working. It just depends whether the other teams kind of catch on to that tactic and that run and they use it against you. Like, playing out from the back, we made a couple of mistakes and they almost led to goals, but... We have now defence that can defend easily when we do make them mistakes. Eventually, eventually, I believe the playing out from the back will hurt us and uh, we will end up making a mistake which leads to goals. But that's just how it is if you play for out from the back. If you're doing a passing tile from the back, it's, got, it's always going to lead to a goal at some point. So, yeah, I think... That win is good. I think it's given us the momentum now in our next match to actually go on and get into them automatic promotion places. Um, yes, right. Next thing. Um, we've signed someone. We've signed Joe Rothwell from Bournemouth. Um, it kind of strengthens the... F it, well, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's a bit... It's, a good, oh, it's an all-right signing. I'm fine with it. Just another backup player, another player we can get up. Or we can get just to bring on like Fraser, but yeah, um, kind of also strengthens the fact that Bournemouth v Southampton isn't a rivalry in the slightest because we're now selling and buying players from each other. Um, so yeah, that kind of strengthens that and kind of makes that more evident. But yeah, I think good sign. Not really much to say about it to be honest. It's just a decent signing, decent backup. Hopefully, kind of be kind of like Ryan Fraser can come on, um, putting the performances off of the bench. But yeah, but Ryan Fraser, by the way, super sub. He's scored in each of the games he's come on. He's he's got a goal a game and he's a sub. That is amazing. That's the type of depth that gets you win, wins in the championship. And those types of players, they will come big when it comes to the end of the season. And Leicester, Leicester lost three on to commentary. So, theoretically, if they go on a bit of a bad run, we could push for the title. If we do push for the title, um, then we're going to need some more signings because I don't think um, we're going to be doing it currently. Topic of signings as well, um, we've got some more linked ones. Uh, David Brooks, um, yeah, Carvalho's been stupid and gone hull. I don't know why he'd do that personally. Like, You've got the option Leicester Southampton and you go Hull. I, d I don't get it. Like, uh, yeah, uh, the bloke from Aberdeen, he's rejected us. Uh, Azaz rejected us. Uh, uh, yeah, it's currently not looking all right. We're looking at Johnson from West Ham, uh, another right, right back. I think we can get him in. 
Uh, but Leeds, obviously, Leeds are always snooping around the players that we want. It happened with Joel Perot in the ch- in the summer window. Um, but yeah, I think. Oh yeah, another bit of news as well. Che Adams. I don't think Che Adams is leaving, which is a big boost because Che is at. He doesn't finish his dinner most of the time, but when he does, but then he does get a lot of chances and he does score goals, and that is what you need to win promotion to the championship. So I'm happy that he's um, staying. Uh, Mara staying as well. So we don't we don't really need that striker signing. That bloke from Aberdeen that I can't remember his name. He's like from North Macedonia or something. But like, yeah, we don't need him. We've got. Plenty of striking force. Mara Armstrong and Che Adams is mental, like mental depth, mental depth for the striker. Um, and yeah, that's I think that's all the transfers I know of. To be completely honest, uh, all the other people have rejected us. I have no clue why. Maybe it's because we are. I don't know. I I I, I couldn't tell you why they've rejected us. To be honest, and gone Hull and other irrelevant clubs. But, yeah, that's just the way it is sometimes. Right, now the biggest news. Yeah, a bit of a surprise one, to be honest. I certainly wasn't expecting this. Um, We're upgrading St Mary's. Um, The club have released plans to make the Northam an all-home end and add another slayer to it, which I think... like It's it's gotten mixed reactions, I'm going to be honest, because people are saying like that away fans being in the Northam kind of makes... The Northam, you know, the Northam, with like Banner and the fans and the Itchin and the Northam all coming together and like giving it to like fans. But I personally, personally, I really like the sound of it. It will give more, I think, in the times I've, I've not been to St Mary's many times because I don't live in Southampton and it's very, quite difficult to actually get to games um, from where I am. But yeah, like, when the times that I've been, the atmosphere has been iffy. It's been iffy. I've been sat down Chapel End mo every single all the matches I've gone to, and it's been like there's the odd like some guy banging on like the bit of the top, and then like a couple of chants starting. But apart from that, it's not very good. And then you go down the north of end, and there's it's like it's like leads down the north of end. Um, so what I think. Having the away fans closer to the Chapman will hopefully bring some of the Northam fans over to the Chapman, give give the Chapman some atmosphere, and then it will encourage more fans to go down to the Northam end and be more like vocal, singing, all that. I think having the st- the away fans down the other end will add atmosphere instead of take it away, which is what some fans are saying, because. You have atmosphere, a full, like, full stand of, like, vocal Southampton fans. And then you have some of the vocal Southampton fans right next to the away fans, giving it to the away fans. I think this will be a brilliant. If I can find the, um, like, if I can find, oh, yeah, there's going to, right. If I can find the, um, if I can find the things or the pictures of that concept, I'll put it up on the screen. They're planning to have a safeguarding area, which will mean, st- which will mean hopefully limbs. Which I'm hoping, you, but if you don't get limbs at St Mary's, I'm going to be complete. No, I don't think once in my entire five years supporting Southampton have there ever been major limbs at St Mary's. Hopefully, this will encourage limbs with a safe standing area. And all that, and better, fa- more fans chanting, creating an atmosphere, so people can stop saying St Mary's is a liveless bowl um, that really no one wants to go to. Um, I like this. I like this idea. I like the idea that they put forward, and um, hopefully, it it should be done. And apparently, in six months, which we in time for. Hopefully, when we get to the prem, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, and that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, because nothing else has really happened, to be honest, apart from that. Um, So, yeah, please like, so Southampton's atmosphere can improve with the new stadium.